Second edition of Drive Through Review. Today I'm going to talk about Balloon Cup. It's a two player card game. Uh, it has the weirdest, most pasted on theme I think I've ever seen. However, I still love this game. Uh, so I'm just going to jump right into quickly how it plays and then share my thoughts. Okay, so here's a basic setup of the game. You basically have these four tiles here with a one, a two, a three, and a four. And you can see this has a picture of a valley, and so does number three. Here's a picture of uh, mountains on two and four. And these are double sided here. You can see this mountains on this side, valley on that side. Now, when you first set the game up, you're going to have valley, mountain, valley, mountain, like so. And you're going to take and grab cubes from this bag and put them on each of these tiles. So you're going to put one cube on the one with the number one, two cubes on the two, three on the three, and four on the four. What you're trying to do is win these balloons here, or these trophies, I should say. So you've got a three, a four, five, six, and a seven. Now these are each colored based on what the cubes that are available in the game. So there's some gray cubes, there's some blue cubes, there's green cubes, there's orange cubes, or yellow cubes, this looks more orange. Um, this and there's uh, red cubes. Now the distribution of cubes is similar to the number of cubes it takes to win. So this means you need three gray cubes to win this balloon. And there is not a whole lot of gray cubes in the game. And similarly with the four on the blue, you need four blue cubes to win the, uh, the blue trophy. And then you need seven red cubes to win this trophy here. Now there's a lot more red cubes than there are other cubes in the game. And the distribution is similar for the cards in the game. And so you're going to get a hand of eight cards to start the game. And these are all your sort of action cards, your balloon cards that you'll be playing. So there's less gray cards and there's more red cards. And these cards are numbered from 1 to 13. But there's not going to be every uh, number. So for gray, there's only like five or six gray cards and it's kind of spaced out. There's a 1 and then maybe a 5 and then an 8 and then a 13. Whereas with the red cards, there's more cards. You know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Like so. So you're going to get eight of these to start the game and so will your opponent. You figure out who's going to go first. And then you can play a card on your turn. You're basically going to play a card and draw a card. Now to play a card you have to have a matching cube of that color. So this green card can only be played over here on this side. And you have to match exactly the cubes on the tile here. So in this case I have to actually have only one yellow card on either side of this tile. On this one I need a blue card and a, a red card. And I need a blue card and a red card on that side. Once you've met that requirement, then you're going to resolve and see who won this each of the battles, so to speak. So let's just do an example here. So in this case, we've got the just the one yellow cube there. So if it was like this, and this is on my side, and this is on my opponent's side, my opponent would actually win this. So I've got an 11. They've got a 7. So if it's a valley, you need to have the lowest total. So in this case, it's just the one yellow cube. You need one card of, each, of that color. Your opponent will win that, and then you're going to flip this over, and then you're going to draw a cube out of the bag and throw it on there. You're going to draw one cube because it's the, the one tile. Now this tile here is a red and a blue. So this will only resolve once there's a red and a blue on both sides. And in this case, it's the highest because it's the mountain. So I may take and play this, this blue 13 here on that side. My opponent may take and play uh, this 3 on me. So that's kind of the trick to the game is you can actually play cards on either side of the battle here. So in this way you can sort of attack your opponent and and play a low card. So if I had this red three I could play that on that side and then he's only got three total. So if we resolve this, so let's see he's got a seven there and I've got a two here. So I added mine up, I'm 15, he's only 10 over here. So I would win this because in, in this case it's the highest. So I'll take these two cubes like so. Then I'll flip this one over, grab two cubes out of there, and throw them right on there. 
And as soon as you get a cu the cubes and the color matching these balloons here, so as soon as I get four blues, I can turn it right in, and I just put those cubes on top of this and take this. And the first person to win three of these uh, balloon trophies is the winner. However, let's say I had assembled two blue cubes, and my opponent beat me to it. He beat me to the punch. Well, these aren't completely worthless quite yet, because once a balloon of a certain color has been won, you can take and use three of that color of a balloon that's already been won to contribute to buying another balloon. So, for example, this balloon's been won by my opponent already, or even by me, and I've got two gray cubes, so I need one more. Well, I can take three cubes of any color that's already been won, and then that will act as one of the color. So once I go to get this card, then I can use two grays and then these three of a card that's already been got to get this. So you're just going to keep going and going and going until somebody wins three of these uh, balloon trophies. And then the tiles will keep flipping over and over. And you can play cards on your opponent, play it on yourself. You play a card and draw a card and that's it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the overview. Uh, this is a great little two-player game. It seems really simple and straightforward. Uh, but there's a lot to uh, waiting and seeing, uh, you know, what your opponent's going to do. Are they going to come right after you? Uh, or are you going to lose, you know, be losing one of those battles, and then you're going to forsake the battle and go concentrate on winning a couple other of the tiles? And that's forcing your opponent then to play cards on your side just to get the battle resolved, because the battle won't resolve until all of the cards are there that match the, all the colors of the cubes that are on that tile and then it'll immediately uh, win. Uh, so this game actually I have the German copy of this game from 999 games. Uh, it was it released in the US. I'd like to see it released in the US again so people don't have to trade for it or go buy it from Germany. Um, I don't even know if it's in print in Germany still but I think this is a really good game. The theme is really bizarre though. Uh, this, you know balloon cup you know, you're doing this, it's like a balloon race, but you're not really racing, so it's not a racing game. But it's weird, so I kind of like weird stuff, so I'm okay with this. But it's the, the kind of tactics and battle of it is really good. You kind of keep in your head, you know, how many cubes have gone by, how many cards have gone by, and you're going to cycle through the deck. So you're going to kind of see, okay, well, they just resolved some gray cubes, so, uh, you know, I'm going to hold on to this, or... Maybe this tile is a mountain now, and I know it's going to resolve soon and flip to a valley or vice versa. So you can kind of hold your cards then. So there's a lot of kind of spatial sort of, you know, awareness that needs to happen and just awareness of the situation and what's going on. So anyway, quite enjoy this. So uh, somebody needs to see, like kickstart this sucker or some other out of, rip, out of print games and, uh, and, uh, and get these back into circulation because I'm sure there's probably like 50 people that would kickstart this or or whatever. So um, anyway, so thanks.